Vallo appeared in an Idaho courtroom this morning. The so-called doomsday mother who is accused of murdering her two children is arguing that the language about the language in her indictment. Yeah, Vallo used to live in Chandler and then moved her kids to Idaho in 2019 before they disappeared for several months, later found dead in her husband's backyard. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum, who's been on this case since the beginning, joins us live in the studio with the latest now. Justin. Amar, Christina, we watched Vallo appear in front of a judge for the first time since her arraignment in April after being deemed competent to stand trial. At times, she smirked, smiled, and frowned. We even saw her with her wedding ring on. Important to note, Vallo's co-defendant and husband Chad Daybell did not appear for this hearing as these motions don't relate to him. Vallo's defense is asking a judge to send her case back to a grand jury. She faces several charges, including first-degree murder, and if convicted, would face the death penalty. On the first motion, Vallo's defense asked for probable cause hearings for the aggravating factors linked to the state's intent to seek death. On the second motion, Vallo's lawyers argued that counts one and three in the indictment, conspiracy to commit murder and grand theft by deception, are two separate crimes now lumped together. The defense says a trial jury would be confused, asking the judge to reconvene a grand jury and separate these alleged crimes. Prosecutors say a single count of conspiracy can include multiple crimes committed per Idaho law. According to investigators, Vallo collected Social Security benefits on behalf of her kids, 7-year-old J.J. Vallo and 16-year-old Tylee Ryan, after the siblings were killed in September 2019. I have issue with the state saying, hey, we can lump all of these things into one conspiracy charge, and as long as they find one of those, one of those conspiracies, then the conspiracy is met. If you really break it down to what the crime is, it's not that confusing. The crime is that they agreed to murder someone and steal money linked to that person. And the crime is the agreement. Cameras caught. Take a look. Cameras caught Vallow leave the courthouse to be transported back to the women's detention center in Madison County. And these photos here of Vallow smiling once she was in the car hearing questions from media outlets. Now, Judge Stephen Boyce said he would issue written rulings on the defense's motions. Trial is set for January 2023. Now, here in Maricopa County, Vallo was charged last June, accused of conspiring with her late brother to kill her ex-husband, Charles Vallo. For full coverage of the Vallo Daybell case, head to fox10phoenix.com slash Live in the studio, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.